What's up guys, this is Light here as always and today we're going to be doing a brief video on this hack that happened out today yet again by Ledger. So there was essentially a compromise on the Ledger library and this compromise basically extended into a lot of the login interfaces for a lot of different dApps like Zerion, um, Revoke Cache and Zapper were the ones that were basically affected. So essentially when you would go into these websites the hacking script would essentially pull out this type of an interface and this would be a fake interface. As you can see underneath, there's the real interface. And when you would click out the MetaMask, there would be probably a sign message and then there would be a small gas fee, which would be the allowance for the drainer contract to drain your money. And there's a lot of drainer contracts going on, guys, right now. I've heard a couple of members on the community being drained, very sad, but I've always told increase your security and I'm going to be showing you two different extensions today and hardware wallets which can make your life a lot more easier and make you prepared for potential hacks okay so pay in mind be extra careful about the URLs and everything that you're going to be interacting with and let's get beat, beat down, down to what exactly went down and etc before we go into those extensions and explaining how to be more secure on the space so there was a supply chain attack and this is the ledger connect kicked and that's how the hacker basically inserted a code. He even left out an email there and here's once again the image how it basically bringing up a pop-up. You, know, you always got to be really careful about when it's like if the wallet is asking for your seed phrase, you know it's sus. Okay, you know this like this is not happening. You're only asking the seed phrase for the first time when you install it. Like that's just normal. And in general when you're going to be using a different wallet like let's say you're going to be switching out from MetaMask, which I've been recommending guys, is to always try, if the wallet has a private key importing feature, use that instead of the seed, because that's a lot more secure than importing uh, the whole seed phrase versus the private key. And yeah, and now that the fix has been allegedly fixed and there has been an update, put in the ledger connector code and people were like already like there was a lot of like posts like oh every web3 uh dap is now infected and blah 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 but th that's not the case this was basically um the, the ones that with the the ledger thing and by the way there was no problems on phantoms phantom side so this was only evm based while it's usually most of the hacks are happening on evm so people who are just using like bitcoin wallets and stuff like that this is not happening so what are the uh, security um, solutions? Number one, get a wallet guard. I've been shilling this on multiple videos. And wallet guard is basically, it's not a wallet. It is not a dApp, it is an extension. So basically when you up and out, it will become, bring out this type of thing and show you like, oh, there's a warning sign. And it shows you that this is a drainer contract. This has actually saved me at least twice now where I've been very close to actually like giving an access to a wrong website. It will have a ranking on the website as well and it's a really really good one and i think it's only on metamask i'm not hard as sure this would actually extend into phantom right now so this is at least for the evms there's also um there was a, like an nft that you can mint inside the extension yeah this one and this might be for an airdrop by the way Another one you can install is called Pocket Universe. The thing with Pocket Universe is they give you actually insurance. So this one actually, like if you, if you in case get hacked, they're actually going to be repaying you to extent. And by like referring people, you're going to be getting a higher insurance. So it's up to 2000, starts with 600 or something like that. And people can join under my referral or whatever. But uh, it's another one that I use. I use both of them, not on the same browsers. I kind of juggle around and see kind of the performance between them. I'm not sure, once again, is the Pocket Universe working on Phantom, but at least it's on the EVMs uh, as of right now. And yes, the Ledger has now, like, um, I think it was not too long ago, like 20 minutes ago or something like that. Let's see, I'm like, should refresh this. So the fix should be on right now and everything has been remedied. But I told you guys, I told you, I think three months ago, I did a video on Ledger. I told about all the problems. I also talked about the problems on Treasure as well. And I've been constantly telling people, fuck, fuck, fuck and fuck Ledger, okay? And this is allegedly the guy, but this might have been like an account that might have been hacked. So Jun Sugiura, which is some EVM, I mean, some Ethereum developer or like coder guy. 
And this is where actually we went through. Now, what are the other wallets? Okay, your what what are the alternatives for Ledger and Treasure? So Keystone is one. We have reviewed Keystone Pro One. I have not reviewed this new version. Probably going to be reviewing that on the channel in the future. They currently have a discount going on here. They had a Black Friday sale also. So 20% off currently um, for their model, uh, the Keystone Pro 3. And uh, it's pretty affordable touchscreen. Uh, I think probably the best interface like usability. It's very smooth. And I can't wait to actually review the 3 Pro. Uh, another one I like is called Secux. They have a multitude of different wallets. We have reviewed the uh, W20 on the channel. I'm going to link those on the on the corner on YouTube. And they have many different models and apparently a lot of discounts going for December. So this one is another one that I kind of like. Um, no problems so far. And then last, there is one key. And all of these three wallets, especially one key, are fully open source. And Ledger, you know, I think it's partially open source. I think they, they have uh, firmware or the hardware. Each, each one of those was open source, but the other part wasn't. And obviously with Treasure and Ledger, the, also the problem is that they are based in like these cock European countries in America where the government just can come in and like make some fucked up regulations. And that's like the problem you don't really have in the um, some other countries which, which are good in Asia. So um, these are the ones that I would recommend. I'm also going to be reviewing one key later down on, on, on the channel. Then there are things like Cypher Rock and etc. But yeah, yeah, one key I'm going to be reviewing probably this month later on. That's pretty much what I have to say. So far, it seems all the dApps are safe now to interact with again. And well, the drainer has already collected like um, half a million or something like that. But not so much as I thought. But we always have to be very, very careful about these drainer contracts. So make sure you're going to be using secure crypto wallets and get out either of these extensions, wallet guard or pocket universe to basically secure out. There are web3 extensions like Rabi, which I have not reviewed the extension version, but I've been using it a lot recently. And it has actually a lot of good security features being built in it as well. And I think OKX might have as well. But that's pretty much what I have to say. I'm not going to make this review any longer. Be safe, guys. Make sure to revoke also access to malicious smart contracts on the revoke.cash. And always be careful about when the wallet is randomly asking you to sign a message or asking for a gas fee. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next video.